So I got a question for you. What do you identify as, right? Because wait, what? Let him out. Let him out. This is the hard, this is the hard left. Yeah, you, you gotta understand. <laughs> like, because yeah. the guy, he got so much going on, right? He's a podcast. Oh, professional, like, like, a, like, a, like yeah. a, what do you <laughs> identify? Like, career wise? Yeah, oh. career wise. You do oh, so no, much. Like, we're, 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 very we're talking about parties, and he's like, what are your preferred pronouns? <laughs> you know what's funny? I've always thought about that, and I have for like the last five to six years in terms of just kind of dibbling and dabbling and everything. Um, because I mean, which I appreciate when you did the whole intro thing. Yeah, I do a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm an entertainer. Mm. Oh, okay. at the end of the day, I love that. I'm an entertainer. Whether it's like me making visuals for other people or visuals for myself, DJing for people, mm -hmm. doing podcasts, I'm here to entertain. Got it. You know, so like I try to be efficient as efficient as possible to kind of make shit better, yeah. make content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can call me a content creator too. That works too. I love that. But I'll go with entertainer. I yeah, because like everything you're doing is entertaining. Yeah. Like, whether it's like curating the vibes with music, being on camera, being funny on Twitter. Being so, behind yeah. camera, shit like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you know that podcasting was going to get lucrative? Because you've been behind some pretty big podcasts yeah. and for a while. Yeah. Like before everybody was really on the podcast <laughs> wave. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So mm. the way I even got into podcasting was because I was just listening to some podcasts when I was like, I was editing photos for like a, a shoe company called Greats. Okay. And I was like, hmm, I got to listen to something, but I didn't want to listen to like audiobooks and stuff. So I got into podcasts. I was listening to Brilliant, uh, Brilliant Idiots. Most people. Got it. Yeah. yeah. And then they had Horrible Decisions on, mm -hmm. which is funny because we're in Mandy's studio. Shout out to Mandy. Right. right. Shout out to and Mandy. Uh, then I saw that they like kind of wrote on IG that they like wanted interns and stuff. Aww. Right. Uh, but they wanted a graphic design intern. I didn't know graphic design. I went on their IG and I was like, hey, I know graphic design. <laughs> Right, yeah. and Period. then I had made them like flyers. Like yeah, It'd be like, like you gotta, gotta lie a little on bit, the, right? yeah. the application because I knew what to yeah. do. But you gotta lie on it exactly, yeah. and they wanted it for free. And I was like, yeah. cool, I get it. You know, it's like work is work. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, right? I go on. I love that. Yeah. He's like, I get it, I get it. Yeah, hey. I was like, fuck it. It's a I hustle like for me too. It was right? a different time back then, you know? Exactly. So I was like, all right, made some flash with them, whatever. And eventually they did a New York show at, uh, at John Jay, I think it was. Yeah, at John Jay. That's where I met Alex, who did Flagrant. I got to lock in with them. Alex Media. Yeah, Alex we Media. Got shout out to Alex Media. Yeah, hey, exactly. Shout out yeah. to all the Alexes in this space. <laughs> right? Hey. So, hey. met Alex. Yeah. Uh, we linked up and whatever. And then, like, the sad part of the story is that for where I kind of came in even more so was when he actually got locked up in Sweden. Which oh. is crazy. Yeah. It was I just some fuck shit that. that happened in Sweden. I, I remember that. Yeah, it was like some dumb shit. Damn. So, Andrew remembers seeing me when I was there. And he was like, hey, can you, like, hold this down? I was like, sure. Andrew Schultz. Andrew Schultz, yeah. Got it. And then yeah. I, I did that show, Flagrant 2, for three, four years? Mm -hmm. Two, wow. three, four years? Yeah. yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and then at the same time, I hopped on to Brilliant Idiots as well. Mm -hmm. So the same show I started listening to <laughs> for a podcast mm -hmm. is a show I was working with. Yeah. At the same time, like doing that. horrible. Mm -hmm. Which so, is kind of crazy. <clears throat> it's funny yeah, because moments, yeah. I told you off air there was a story. I feel like I might have shared this moment with you, but maybe I didn't because I was so blasted. Every time I see you, I get blasted. I have to stop that. Fuck yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> it ain't stopping today. You feel me? <laughs> For sure. But the first time that I heard your name, uh, I was introduced to you way, way back in Flagrant Two Days. It was actually when Cass was on the Shout show. Shout to Cass, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. That's how early on I remember hearing your name. Oh, wow. And at that time, I was probably maybe about a year in with Joe. I was working with Joe Budden. And similar to you, I lied on my application. All right. <laughs> I tweeted him. I said, hey, you need an intern. I'm your guy. I live 10 minutes away from whatever it is you record. I really lived an hour and a half away. But <laughs> needless to say, same moment. mindset is like, love all right, it. fuck it. We got to make this thing work. Exactly. So I didn't know that about you. We both some liars. Yeah. Fuck Salute. yeah. Salute to the, the best way possible. Right. Exactly. I love See? I love no, that I think process. everybody, the, the moral of the story is everybody listening to this, everybody lie on your resume. Please. <laughs> yeah. <lie. laughs> you're going to learn on the yes. job. If you're a hard worker, you're going to yeah. learn. Everybody lie on your yeah. resume. I, I'm not even like joking. And right on now. the application. Yes. Lie on both. But yes. don't be too far ethic. left, though. Don't be too far yeah, left and lie. Yeah. No, Because if you everything. really can't do it. Yeah. You're going to get exposed Yeah, early. you're going to get exposed. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Because I feel like y if you got the job, even if you lied, I feel like you were meant to get the job. So just lie. Everybody, don't listen <laughs> to it. Out. Lie. Okay, okay. Start, make, start yeah. looking at all the YouTube videos to fix everything yes. up. Like, ASAP. We have YouTube. Man. Yeah, we got we got YouTube University. Like, yeah. you can look every no single thing up. Yeah. For real. So you started uh, Flavor 2. You started with Andrew Schultz. You started with Alex. Uh, then you went to Brilliant Idiots, and then yeah. I know you did horrible decisions for a little bit. Yeah. Like, tell me how that was for you, that experience, what you learned there. Ooh. Obviously, you're a little bit, you're, you're further along now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, how was it working with that collective of people? Man, I mean, with Flagrant 2, we would be in Engine Room, which was by uh, 
what is it, Wall Street? Yeah, was, I've been over there for some like music yeah, sessions. Yeah, people will usually Big do that for music. Exactly, right. So that you do music sessions or whatever. It's a small place. <laughs> yeah. All the way in the back, they had a room rented. Loud loudspeakers that were uh, had a room rented. Okay, got it. We do that. We'd set up every time because it'd be different podcasts mm-hmm. doing stuff there too from that same network. Uh, so it's build up, take down, and then eventually I started editing and stuff like that. And at that time, I had slow ass internet. Super slow internet. I don't. I hate. I hate spectrum internet because that worst. made my days <laughs> it horrible. Like it would fact. take. Let's say you got Verizon. video. Now I got Verizon. Oh my god, that's heaven set. I'm looking One for apartments right now. Yeah. I was like, yo, like I need Verizon. Yeah. That build before anything else, <laughs> right? So we did that. So like a video would take like three hours to upload, and it was like an hour video. Yeah. Like that's how Those bad it was, day, and like, I hated that. Yeah. yeah. Doing all that. Uh. So I work in Brilliant as well. Do the same thing. Set up cameras and stuff because we tape over at uh, the iHeart uh, Media building, mm-hmm. right? Set them up, bring them down, bring them back, you know, and carry a whole big ass suitcase everywhere. Horrible is kind of the same thing, but I really more so was kind of doing audio for Horrible, mm-hmm. and things were already set up there in that in that spot for that, so that was kind of a blessing at the same time. But I do like every once in a while like editing and stuff like that. Got it. Compared that to now, I mean, shit. Thankfully, uh, Weezy and Alex opened up a studio. After the pandemic, uh, WTF Media Studios, right? Yeah. And that place is dope. And I was there with them, like, building that shit with my hands with them, the first studio that they did. Mm-hmm. And that was a lot. <laughs> you know, that that kind of humbled me in the sense of, like, yo, this is, like, literally, you just see so many podcasts. Yeah. You see a lot of podcasts. And, like, just people just figuring out their own concepts, how to, like, because thankfully I was working with, like, the big po- big podcasts at that time. Off right? Rip, right? for sure. Off Rip, which yeah, is great. Off Rip is crazy. And then you yeah. just kind of get to learn, like, little gist in terms of, like, producing mm-hmm. that, like that's a big thing you can come on here and just talk and that's it but obviously you guys got things organized you got your group chat mm-hmm. figure out what the topics are she got clips you know that we better <laughs> find out about later you know <laughs> um you know uh, and then uh it's just a lot it's yeah. just a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot that goes um, into it exactly yeah. and then working with these guys you know the biggest thing i get from moria mall is creative liberty Ooh, you know like we kind nice. of all like hear each other's ideas and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but we always give each other like a second to make sure we like give it a chance yeah and if it works it works if it doesn't doesn't and that's great and it's like a double-edged sword at the same time yeah because you got to try everything you can for sure especially when it's like a topic like if there's always played out topics like how long we're gonna hear about drake in like a span of two weeks yeah, you gotta figure yeah. out different angles i was just telling y'all about that mm-hmm. different angles on it right how many times y'all talked about drake in the last two three weeks oh man uh, every week shout yeah. out to shout <laughs> out to seo yeah. on youtube you know hey. yeah it works out it's gonna work out let's exactly. do it right? yo drake but, drop one of the albums again my nigga yeah. yeah. we need that and it so helps out it. it's great it do, it's it just do. it gets it's it gets stale <laughs> yeah. it can get yeah. stale for like, sure personally it can get stale 